the idea of the capsule exhibitions is pretty simple. We decided that we would introduce a new exhibition format which allows us to invite younger artists at the beginning of their artistic careers and each of the artists is given one exhibition space where they present a small solo show with new or newly produced works. We are showing two London-based artists this time, Lynettia Domboachi, she was born in 1977 as a British artist of Ghanaian descent, and Adele Röder, born in 1980 in Dresden, who's been living in London since last year. When you come in, and see all these people, uh, you want to know, like in all figurative painting, who is that? Who is facing me? Who is standing in front of me? Who are these people? And her whole work is, so to say, uh, around this question. These three men sitting in a chair in, in a very, yeah, kind of representational uh, setting. These paintings are so interesting when you look at the, at the chairs, at the armchairs. They are red in front of a red background. So in the first side, you get the impression these guys are peering from somewhere. And then in, in a second view, you see that there is really this armchair that is standing in front of this, this red background. That shows that these people are not individuals, but that they are standing for something more general let's say in this case a politician a manager or whatever you are connecting with the impression of a white collar and tie with a guy facing you in a very self-conscious way There are things I start out with in terms of color or an underpainting or a, um, a particular approach that I, I want to use for something, whether it's something that feels much more drawn or much more washy or that has a very strong line in it. An aspect of the composition that's, that's very particular, like a, a shape, like a recurring triangle or, a, a, or a, something um, to do with how the limbs are set in a pose. So all of those things are then kind of negotiated by what goes behind them and what comes in front. And it's all the sort of very, um, I guess, academic or um, almost scientific things about painting, like how one colour qualifies another, how, um, how a shape works, how, um, how you make tones of different colours. Because they're not real, they, they take on far more of the sense of actually being of the stuff they're made of. And it's pretty much the reason why I paint as opposed to anything else. It's that relationship or that combination that I'm really interested in, that something is, kind of exists through what, what it's made of. What you see in both exhibitions is that they basically concentrate on body postures, on the representative qualities of the body, how a body can inhabit a certain emotional language, a certain communicative aspect. And Adele Röder's abstraction is tied to a very defined and limited vocabulary, so her starting point was a number of forms that she had devised for another project called Concorruda. And with these forms, she started drawing. She started drawing different body positions, very awkward, very funny, some very austere, and has devised a whole series of investigating the body, investigating our nonverbal expression, if you will. I thought about body as the most condensed 
thing that exists for us. <laughs> um, the most brutal and immediate and what we always understand, we will always understand and have always understood in that way. Um, for example, the skeletons, the photos um, of skeletons of graves from prehistoric times. I see the skeletons lying there and um, I can still read them, same like cave paintings, for example. And so I thought, what if I create my own language or like how a caveman created a, its language on, on the walls. And so then I started like really making these drawings, writing down with through the drawing um, positions that I think that matter and that, that I observed also, starting to, started to observe every day, like, yeah, simple things like sleeping, uh, learning to walk, uh, things like that. She's actually exclusively working with light as the image creator in this sense and I particularly like this combination of the materiality of light, of the energy of light with the imminent physicality of the body and I think this is exactly the duality between which Adele is working. So the, this matter of how to relate to the increasing abstraction, the increasing immateriality that we're constantly confronted with on the one side and on the other acknowledging as the body, as a central entity through which we perceive and filter the world. 